My first thought today was, why hasn't he texted me in a week? <laughs> Who's he? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey Team Vogue, this is Len Pons, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my firsts. The first thing I do is check my phone and wonder why I've had a hundred missed calls from my managers. I love texting Sammy, my manager, but when it comes to like, like calling him as a friend, like to tell him some juicy stuff, yeah, I love that. But like when it comes to business, I'm just like, eh. I text them. Who's my first childhood friend? I can say babas, which were like little tiny alligators in the farm that I used to be in. I was raised in a farm in, in Venezuela. It's called Turin. I can say that my first childhood friend that was a human was um, this girl named Renata, my friend Renata. My first social media account was Facebook. Uh, when I was like around 15 years old, I was my first social media account. And my, my, my friends, all my friends like did it for me. And I didn't even know it existed, so. So I remember on Facebook, I would always do like events, right? Like I would always want to be the girl in school that would throw the parties. So I always do like this party that I would name Be There or Be Square. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheesy, right? And then I would be like, be there, be square, and I would invite all the popular kids from like school. Not a lot of people. People would be like, yeah, I can come, I can come, I can come, but a lot of people said that they couldn't come. Who's gonna come on a Wednesday night? Cause you know, like my parties weren't as cool as like the senior parties, but the senior parties were during the weekend, so I would do them during the week and nobody would come, so. I remember my first post on Instagram. It was the night of one of my parties and it was with my one of my good friends, vale, vale Genta, Valentina Genta. And it was just in the balcony of me and me and her like this. I still had my nose, my other nose. First time I ever went on YouTube is because I missed out on a telenovela series and I went to YouTube to see like the series there. My first video was me in school doing nothing and just filming me in science class failing. That's my video. First time I ever went viral, I think, was a Vine that I did, uh, m like mimicking uh, Cameron Diaz being like all sexy in a car wash. And I just, it was the first video, of course, that I fell um, and I did a stunt. And that one on Vine, which was just like me being Cameron Diaz in, in the movie Bad Teacher. I went from Vine to Instagram and then Instagram to YouTube. It went really, really well when I went to YouTube. Um, I go back to the, the, the ones that I did earlier and they all have like 65 million, 20 million views, some of them have 100 million. There's like one, Super Mario has like 100 million. I can see myself like first starting YouTube, like how, wow, like I, I was so, you can see the excitement that I had and the videos and everything. My first modeling job that I had was, I walked for Dolce Gabbana in, in Milan, like I think two years, three years ago with my friend Juanpa. And that was my first modeling thing that I did. The first song that I ever did was I think for sure like Celoso because it was like mine, but like the one that I first like showed to the world was Decent with Matt Hunter. That was the first one that I did. After Decent, it was my first single was Celoso, which is like almost two years old right now. My first time performing on stage, I was in elementary school and I sung uh, I Turn To You by Christina Aguilera in front of like my whole school. And I was wearing the ugliest dress. You know those dresses that don't even have a normal length? It's just like not too high, not too low in the middle. It was red and my hair was oily back and I had pimples. I didn't even know what makeup was. I wasn't wearing any makeup. It was really bad. The lighting was bad, but that was my first time. Elementary school, St. Patrick's school. My first school was a Catholic school. My family is very religious. I feel like I didn't belong there. I was, I, I really am not good at following rules. So I was like really crazy. And uh, I can say that some of the nuns really did hate me. <laughs> I was all over the place. I loved recess. I loved recess. I loved PE, loved lunch, anything that had to do with no work. I think my first job, job, job where I got paid was I did a Coca-Cola commercial, which was the best commercial ever because I love Coca-Cola. Like I actually wasn't, I wasn't acting when I was like tasting the Coca-Cola and making it look like I love it. I wasn't acting. I really did love it. So it was the easiest job I ever had. You know, you had to be like, Mmm, delicious, you know, kind of thing. But I was just like, mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> Where they took it down and be like, delicious! Like, woo! And I would, like, my eyes would be watery and I'd be like, wow, delicious! Thinking about it right now, it's making me hyper. <laughs> and I feel like I just drank imaginary Coca Cola and got hyper. My first solo trip without my parents was in Vegas, trying to track down a guy I liked. And, uh, it didn't work out. 
I should have I should have gotten my parents involved because it was a mess. I went to a strip club. Uh, we did a lot of things. I went like indoor skydiving. It was cool. It was very cool. Uh, I just wish I wasn't allowed to go to to Vegas just for that stupid reason to track down a guy. So, but my friend is like my mom. She, she's so mature, so she went with me. So I guess that doesn't really count. My first crush was Sammy Sosa's son. And it was second grade and he sat next to me and I was so excited because he was so tall and I was the tallest in my class. He was so nice to me, I remember. Sammy Sosa. And we didn't last long because I cheated on him with a, <laughs> a guy named London Duran. And I really regretted it because London Duran was a player in the second grade. He had everybody. I, mean, I didn't cheat on anybody, I just flirted with other guys, other kids. <laughs> I love going back in the days, like, yes, I like, I gave my pencil and my eraser to another kid, so I cheated. My first date, I took this guy uh, to Venice, and then when I took him to Venice, I did everything. I put them, in, put him on the gondola. We went inside the the churches. We ate a lot of pasta. We were very little, so my, our parents were on our watch. <laughs> we were never like alone. My first date was never alone. My parents were in there. Uh, I was 16 years old when I had my first date and my first kiss. My first home that I ever made for myself was uh, 1600 Vine Street. I moved there with my mom. So in that complex, there was like a, like a whole, it was like a college for me. It was like King Batch was there, Logan Paul was there, Jake Paul was there, um, Jerry Perp Drank was there, many people. I even met my managers there too. It was pretty cool. It was in the center of everything, Hollywood. And we would just shoot all day videos and everything. The first album I've ever purchased was Shakira's Pies Descalzos. That one was the one, the first one that I was able to grab, for sure. So the first concert that I've ever went to was Shakira's concert with my dad. He took me for my birthday. Actually, for our birthday. My dad and me have the same birthday, same hour, seven minutes of different, we were born. Um, yeah, 10 something at night. I think the first TV show that I bench watched was Ugly Betty but in, uh, in, uh, in Spanish, La Fea Más Bella. The first person that I text when something exciting happens, it, de it depends, like, when there's a guy that I like, it's him. Uh, when it's right now, I have to say it's Sandra. Before it was like Tuan, then it was Hannah, then it was like my managers, it just varies. It depends on what happens. Like if something like, if like gossip happens, I go to Hannah. If something romantic happens, I go to like Sandra or something. If I need advice, I go to Sandra again. If it's something that I need help to like, and like someone m messed around with me, it would have to be like Tuan, you know? If I had guy problems, Tuan. If I have something that's very sexy that happened, my boyfriend or my ex. I usually text my ex-boyfriends and say, oops, sorry, accident. It was accident. My first memories of Venezuela was a lot of horseback riding with my dad. One of my first memories from Miami was actually going to this club with all my friends and my cousins, La Gorse Club, and we would always go there and it was so much fun. My first memory of LA was when I came for the first time for the Teen Choice Awards. That was my first red carpet and that was my first time getting glammed and having a stylist, everything. That was my first of a lot of things. First time on a film set, I was on Escape the Night with Joey Graceffa and he he did this series that is super popular on YouTube. It's called Escape the Night, and I was one of the characters, and I was one of the last ones that died in it. I got, I died because I was electrocuted. My first TV role was, I think, Scream. Scream uh, season two. I was the girl that died in the beginning of the movie, the stupid blonde. That was me, they picked me. The first memorable performance on La Voz was, I remember, this hasn't, they hadn't even started yet, but. Natalia Jimenez killed it. She was, she just like sang for a minute just to, for fun and she was like beautiful. Her voice is insane. And I remember that. I was just like, we were all like, who is this girl? You know those people that just sing, it's just they sing so beautifully, so easy. Like they're not even trying. Natalia Jimenez, that was my first time. And the voice that, the first voice that I heard that was like, oh my God. First time I was starstruck. When I saw this, 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 this girl, her name was uh, Gaby Espinos, telenovela actress, and I was always a huge fan of her, and I saw her in one of these award shows, and I was starstruck when I saw her. Like, I was just like, my God, it's Gaby Espinos. I'm like her biggest fan when it comes to like telenovela. She's amazing, she's an idol. She's so beautiful. And she was the first one, of course, Miami, the town of telenovelas. 
My first documentary work, uh, I was just like in a little bit of my friend's Anita's, but that wasn't like, it was just a little bit, but I feel like this one, my docu-series is, uh, I guess this is like the first one because it's about like my personal life and what I've struggled with. So I, I'm gonna say this docu-series is my first one, mine. Thank you Team Vogue for inviting me to do this. These were some of my firsts and this is a great experience. I really remember a lot that I didn't before. So love you guys. Un beso. See you next time.